This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the second annual Growth Capital Expo in Las Vegas 2015. I have with me Jim Pakoulis, Wisdom Homes of America. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is W O F A, WAFA. Welcome to SNN Live. <laughs> Thank you, Shelley. Thank you for having me. So let's tell our audience an overview of the company. Sure, happy to. Wisdom Homes of America opens and operates manufactured home retail centers in the heartland. And we are now expanding into land home packages in which a homeowner can simply come to one of our lots and purchase an actual finished house. So I've seen you before. We got together, I think it was in what, January? January yeah. And uh, so what's the update since January? Because we're now in April. Yes, we are. Well, we, we had actually pivoted out of technology at the beginning of 2014 and got into the manufactured home brick and mortar uh, sector. And so we actually started selling in August and we had a, a strong second half of 2014. Uh, revenue came in north of a million dollars. And uh, we're tracking nicely for 2015. We're expanding with our retail centers. We're also expanding into the lo uh, land home packages with different lots that we have acquired, and we have a slate of more lots that we want to take down to be able to offer the consumer the ability just to come onto one of our uh, subdivisions and purchase a finished product from us, which is uh, just a wonderful win-win for both sides. So tell me the particulars. I'm a consumer. Why would I want to live where you're offering a home? Yep, absolutely. The reason you would prim primarily want to live uh, in one of our subdivisions is the quality of a manufactured house. Forget what a mobile house used to be 20, 30, 40 years ago. Today, the houses are state of the art. They're absolutely gorgeous. They have wraparound porches and vaulted ceilings, rock fireplaces, wood floors, 1,800, 2,000, 2,500 square feet. They're just sensationally uh, built and look wonderful. Uh, the quality of the house is second to none, arguably stronger than stick-built houses. Uh, matter of fact, before a manufactured house leaves a facility in which it is built, it has to uh, adhere to strict HUD standards before it even is shipped. Uh, so the consumer is able to get any type of design they want practically. Uh, it's a much higher quality than it ever was in the past and arguably stronger than stick built. And most importantly, it's affordable. So a consumer can come to one of our subdivisions and for a 15 to 1800 square foot, three bedroom, three bath with a beautiful aesthetic house, uh, purchase it for $130,000, $140,000. So then when you tie that in with what it, they're paying for their mortgage, or excuse me, for their rent right now, it's actually equal or less to buy a manufactured house than it is to be a renter. So now is this a community? So there's several of them and, and they have some land around it, uh, like they could plant a garden. I mean, I'm just getting the flavor of it. Sure, absolutely. So the in the lots that we have purchased and, and will continue on purchase, uh, they're in areas where the homeowner will be purchasing uh, from us uh, anywhere from a half acre to two acres. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and, and affix that house for them, improve the lot, fix that house onto that pad, the cement pad for them, so it's a permanent uh, real estate transaction. That house is not going anywhere. And once it's affixed to that pad, it therefore becomes uh, 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 financeable through a traditional mortgage. Hmm. Yeah, so, so it, many, many benefits. And if you, t taking another look at it, there's about $4.1 billion of new manufactured home sales last year uh, throughout the U.S. Uh, the average sale is uh, roughly $65,000. And that market is continually growing. Uh, it's grown between 5 to 10% clip over the last four or five years. So, for example, who's buying them? Sure. I'll, I'll answer that in the general, and then I'll go specific. General, throughout the United States, the average annual medium household income is $54,000. That individual cannot afford a three, four, five hundred thousand dollar mortgage, but they can afford a hundred and forty thousand dollar mortgage on a house, on a half acre that they can purchase from us. So who's buying that? It's, it's the hardworking Americans throughout the heartland. It's the truck drivers and the nurses and the cooks and the chefs. Uh, these are the individuals that are buying manufactured homes from us. We're in 2015 April. We're heading towards the midpoint of the year. 
2016, you got about a year and a half. Where do you see the company? I see the company continually growing with the retail sectors sector. I see us continue opening up more manufactured home retail stores, specifically throughout Texas, since Texas sells three times more manufactured homes than in any other state. I see us expanding into the land home model through the acquisitions of subdivisions, land that we improve or land that's already been approved and we simply have fixed the house. And then I also see us uh, getting into the mortgage origination uh, um, aspect uh, in order for us to be completely vertical to fully assist that home buyer. So for more information, which website would you like to give out? That would be wisdomhomesofamerica.com and our ticker is W-O-F-A. Ladies and gentlemen, Jim Pakoulis, Wisdom Homes of America, publicly traded company, trades under the symbol W-O-F-A. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the second annual Growth Capital Expo in Las Vegas 2015. My friend. Thank you. Shelley. See you soon, bud. Yes, Thanks thank you. Thank on. you very much. You got it.